sign. How you guys doing today? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, welcome in. We are doing your weekend reading. Let's see where we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Feel free to swap around the characters. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher, uh, or I could just say one or two things that make sense to you. It doesn't have to be the whole reading, okay? So, Let's see what happens here. Um, I am doing, back by popular demand, a uh, another Advanced North Node class. It's going to be live. And your North Node in your astrology chart, Rahu Ketu in, in Vedic, is about what is your path, what is, what, is, what is your purpose? What is your purpose on this planet? The link is below to join that if you want. It would be lovely to have you. If you're new to the channel, hey, welcome in. Please like, subscribe, and share if you like the content I create. All right, let's see where we go. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. I've been shuffling for quite a long time here. Truth be told, no place like home. Peace. Boy, there's a lot of truth telling going on right now. It's, it's the Plutonic energy, the Pluto in retrograde. Yep. <laughs> it's the Pluto in retrograde. It's things are coming out of the woodwork. Things are coming to the surface that have needed to come to the surface that maybe people have been afraid to say. Someone's been afraid to say something. But now it just, um, it brings change. This is a 50 card, 5-0 and peace is, is two and three, that's another five. So this is gonna bring some change and at the same time bring stability. So you could have had something built on a bit of a rocky foundation because of the lack of truth. But now because the truth is being told, it can be more stable, okay? This relationship or what's going on in your life can be more stable. It was built on a rocky foundation. I don't know if you even knew that. You might not have known that there was this big truth to be told. To be told. You know how you just feel it? You just feel like something's not right. There's something you're not quite understanding or something you're not quite okay with. And you don't even know what it is. All right? I think you're in the dark about this. I really do. Okay, yeah. Look at that. Judgment. Out of the blue. The uh, Pluto, Pluto Pluto in retrograde, I believe it's till September. It's till later this year. Lots of things coming out of the woodwork. And you see, like, this is Judgment Day. This is people rising up from the dead. So this could even, this could even be about somebody uh, from your past life or somebody, um, what I mean by that is, Someone could be coming back around to you from a past life, coming up out of nowhere, and you're like, I know you. I really do. I know you. Also, uh, tr some truth could be coming back from the dead. Somebody thought that this was over and done with. And then all of a sudden, it's here again. Okay? It's here again. Yeah! Plutonic energy. Right there, right there. Okay? That's you. Wow. The world is the situation. Six of Pentacles is the opportunity here. Nine of Cups. Go in a good direction here. Nine of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Holding back. Okay. Queen of Cups. Four of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. Chariot. Sun. That's a good direction. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Somebody, uh, I feel like it's somebody else's truth. Somebody is keeping something from you. Or somebody has kept something from you. It's going to make a big difference. Okay? It's going to make a big difference. Um, you might be, um, how do I say this? Let's see. This feels to me like there was a lie told a long time ago. Or someone didn't tell you the truth a long time ago. And now, some kind of decision you make or change you make in your life is based on, in part, on the belief of what they said to you all that time ago. 
So, for example, some of you could believe that you are, you know, not worthy of love. Some of you could believe that you are um, damaged goods. You are somebody who has been through too much. You can't, you know, you could have been in a fight with somebody and they said something to you that really cut you to the quick. And it was a lie. It was based in anger. It was based in a, a, a momentary thing. But you took that in and believed that about yourself all this time. It could have even happened when you were a little kid that someone said something to you. No boys are ever going to like you if you X, Y, and Z, right? Like something like that. You believe something about yourself that is not true. And it's been blocking you for a long time. Four of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, things are balancing out now, okay? The end of that lie, that lie is gone. It's like you finally understand who you are. You finally get it. You finally see the light about, <laughs> about who you are. This could be as simple as um, when I was in college, um, a guy I dated, we, he was told by his parents his whole life that his birthday was June 25th. His birthday was really December 25th. And they did it for an innocent reason. They wanted him to have parties and have fun and not be, you know, competing with Christmas um, and would never have a birthday party on his actual birthday, right? So they said June 25th, right? And they, that's, they, they proceeded. So when he filled out his college applications, he was like, his mother's like, um, well, I gotta kind of tell you something. You're born on December 25th. And he was like, what? Of course he didn't say this, but I said, hey, you're a Capricorn. <laughs> he was like, what's a Capricorn? Because <laughs> he, he thought he was a Cancerian, but he, didn't, he doesn't actually know anything about that. But the polar opposite, right? He thought he was polar opposite. So a lot of his life, even unconsciously, was built around this idea of I'm a summer baby, I'm this, I'm that, and a lot of things he didn't kind of embrace about himself or things didn't make sense to him. Uh, and I'm not saying he was a big astrology freak. He was not at all. But some kind of thing like that, when you're told some kind of thing like that, that really changes something fundamental, your birthday, something fundamental that you think you know about yourself. Okay? Um, you can really, like you're somebody said to you somebody may have said to you that you gain weight easily your mother somebody who was in authority someone who would be like from a little kid like you really gain weight so quickly and you and then you would because it would be like a belief that you had that like oh i gain weight like at the drop of a hat and then as a grown-up you're trying to diet and everything like that and they do all these tests and everything like that and they're like Really, you're just eating wrong for your body. You don't really gain weight fast. You think you do, but you're not really doing that. And it changes, it shifts your whole perspective. You're not really a relationship person, all right? Something along these lines. And now, a thing that comes out can be the person um, saying, oh yeah, I just said that. I had a friend, I'm an adopted kid, and I had a friend who didn't know this um, tell her little brother that he was an adopted kid and that nobody really wanted him. They left him on the door, doorstep as a, you know, a little, you know, like in a basket. Even helped him find his mama later in life. This lie was going on for 25 years. It impacted me, too, because I felt like, oh, that's how people think about adopted kids, that they're unwanted. My parents, and it, later on, my parents were like, no, we wanted you. We went to the mat to get you. So, but it impacted me, and it impacted that kid's, that person's little brother. They felt unwanted. They felt like they didn't belong. And so there is in your past someone who's told you something that is not true about you, and it could be that you're not a relationship person or that you're somebody who is, a, you know, 
you're better off alone, you're not really, you know, doing this right, you don't know what you're doing and stuff like that. Could have been a mother. Some kind of um, communication from mother, Queen of Cups in the in the past. Okay, somebody cancerian energy here in the past. Opposite energy from Capricorn, opposite energy here. So what's going on here is that's over. Now transformation is happening. Now you know who you are. You're suddenly discovering who you are. And I feel like this is going to change everything about who you think you are and what you're doing if, with your life. This is big. This is a really big revelation. Judgment, revelations. Can't have to do with religion. Can't have to do something fundamental. And now moving toward peace. Now you understand yourself better. Okay? Nine of Wands. This has been, you've been dragging this around for your whole life. Um, the universe is saying to you, hey, guess what? The gift is you. The gift is you. You are discovering who you are. And I feel like Four of Wands and Wheel, now the possibilities open up. I, I do feel like this was something that you really, you tried to hide from other people or you tried to hide from yourself. And now it's like, look at you out there something really big you tried to hide from the world okay something really big but the transformation here is complete yeah nine of swords magician two of pentacles ace of wands new beginning here knight of pentacles so now, now it makes sense to you. Now, whatever's going on here, this could be, um, if this was about a relationship, a person you were dealing with in the past, maybe a Cancerian, told you a big lie. And you proceeded to do things, be things, and make decisions based on, in part, on that lie. And it stunted your growth. It kept you, it's sort of like, you know, keep wearing a size six shoe and you're really a size eight. It's going to hurt. It's going to cause some friction. It's going to cause some issues. So when you decide to go out into the world or when you decided to make a decision and it had to do with that, I feel like this is going to blow up. This is something that's going to show up loudly in your life. Like, oh, I always thought that I was X, Y, and Z and I'm not that at all. I'm having a really hard time understanding what took you so long. <laughs> what took you so long? And I have a feeling it's because you really believed you really believed this about yourself or you believed that person a lot. This could be from an ex-husband or an ex-wife too. And you believed it about yourself or you believed it coming from this person that there was I mean, this is kind of ridiculous, but they could have told you that they cheated and they really didn't. They could have told you that this happened with like a, a friend of yours because maybe that person didn't like a friend of yours. And so something happened with a friend of yours, but it never happened. And so you got rid of that friendship. All right, something like that. So now something's coming on your path that is going to open you up to this truth. Okay, it's on the path. This is not uh, optional, okay? And you may need some help here. It may push you back into like a little hidey hole. When you understand what this is, it may, it, it rocks your world a little bit here, okay? It rocks your world. So understanding really who truly who you are. I am getting that some of you are psychic or some of you are healers teachers, guides, gurus, and because you had, that's what this is, because you had some kind of deep knowing, inner knowing, people may have said you were crazy or may have said that, no, that's not real or something like that, and you shut it down all this time, it's going to come bursting out. Those of you who are, you may not even realize but your psychic ability, your um, ability to clairvoyant, claircognizant, clairsentient, clairaudient, it's going to come bursting through. It's 
going to come bursting through. I feel like some of you are going to be on the path to big things. Okay? Whenever this bursts through, I'm not surprised, I guess, from an earth sign perspective, because it really is about the 3D life. And so if you are somebody who is psychic or, you know, in some way connected to us, we're all, okay, we're all connected spiritually. But some of us are better at tapping into it, at listening to it, than others. And so I guess I'm not surprised that this might be coming up right now. Okay, the Pluto energy is strong, popping out out of nowhere. You just have these feelings. You just have this thinking. You just have this knowing. Okay? Let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. You might want to try and hide it again. Mm -mm. No, no, no possible. Not possible. Okay? No es posible. All right. Link is below for you if you want to continue on with this reading. I'll see you over there.